State of Alabama is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to intervene following a federal three judge panels ruling this week that rejected the congressional map the Alabama legislature drew in July. And the panel said the map failed to remedy Voting Rights Act problems and directed that new maps be drawn by a court appointed map makers by September 25th. But the state wants the high court to intervene and allow the legislature's map to go forward. So News 19 chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson has been following this story for more than a year at this point. And Brian, the state is appealing to the same court that sent the case back in June, right? That's right. The Supreme Court agreed in June with the panel's earlier findings that a second black voting age majority or near majority district could reasonably drawn in it, be drawn in Alabama. Alabama's legislature then drew a map without that district. It was rejected this week. The judges wrote, quote, and we are deeply troubled that the state enacted a map that the state readily admits does not provide the remedy we said federal law requires. But Alabama officials have argued the new map, which includes a District 2 with a 40% black voting age population, is constitutional and satisfies what the law requires. Now, it's not clear if the Supreme Court will take up the petition filed by the state. The three-judge panel has said it hoped to have a new map in place by October 1st. Now, looking at where things stand in the Alabama Congressional Map Court battle, the three-judge panel said they've told Alabama twice the Voting Rights Act case is not close. The panel includes two Trump-appointed judges and one Clinton appointee. And the panel said the plaintiffs have until Friday at 10 a.m. to respond to all this. Now, the panel has asked a special master to oversee the work of a cartographer to produce up to three maps by September 25th. Now, it's not clear if that work will now be put on hold by the high court.